Thank you for joining our object-oriented PHP programming course. My name is Lawrence. I've been a web developer for over 14 years. My primary side language that I use is PHP, and I really enjoy the benefits of using object-oriented programming, the amount of time that it saves when you are creating big applications, as well as building up libraries that you can reuse. is going to be really beneficial to your programming development. In this course, we're going to be showing you the tutorial using a, a ZAMP server. So that's a local machine server. We've got a video about how to set up the server as well, lecture number five. As well as throughout the course, we're going to be going through predefined files to save you time uh, so that you don't have to watch us typing out the course content. It's already going to be predefined within the, the lectures. Uh, so we can quickly and efficiently move through the course. Well, all of the course content is available for download. So if you go to Lecture 2 or the lecture called Resources, select this resource downloadable area, and you can download this resource PDF file. So it's got a lot of really good resources, including about where to get XAMPP, uh, listing of PHP functions, as well as some text editors. Uh, as well, over here, download this lecture. We've got the PHP development resources here, and we've got the resources for all the lectures that we've got within this course. So these are all PHP files, downloadable in zip format, and you could unzip them and follow along with the lectures as they're being played. Highly encouraged that you do practice the PHP code that we're going to be discussing within the course and that we're going to be going over as one of the best ways to learn is to be practicing the code. In this course, we're going to illustrate the basic building blocks of objective object-oriented programming, as well as designing an application that use, uh, uses object-oriented programming to have some output within a web application. As well, within the course, we're going to be adding additional content as new content becomes available for object-oriented coding. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them within the course. Thank you once again for taking the object-oriented programming course. And we do have additional courses that are coming out on Udemy in regards to PHP as well.